Hi, and welcome to Ziga Review. Finally, Sony revealed the UI for the PS5 on an 11 minute video that included a lot of, I will say, fluff and stuff that didn't really matter. But it was really cool to see what the UI is going to be like. I'm going to go over the things that they explained and showed us. I'm also going to include the link for the video in the description section. So if you're interested in taking a look at it, you can go there and do that. All right, so here we go. The first thing they show was the control center, which you can bring up by pressing the home button. What the control center is going to show you is pretty much everything that you have available to do on the system. The cool feature about this is that it doesn't take you out of the game. It's just a layout that comes up over whatever game you're playing. Um, in this case, it was showing Sackboy, a big adventure. So what they show there is that you can go and look at your most recent screenshots, news, and you can obviously resume your game. The other feature that they show is that the, there will be cards that will show you what percentage you are in so far within the game. In this case on Sackboy, a, a Big Adventure, what they show is that there was 33% left to play on the game. So you could go and jump on a portion of the game and, and continue playing from where you left off instead of having to play the whole game. So you could pick and choose uh, the spots that you wanted to pick up from. How will this feature work in other games that are not first parties? They didn't really explain that. The other thing that they show is that you are going to be able to get hints or help in order to pass certain levels. So the example that they gave here was uh, the person had missed a, an objective within the game and they were able to bring up help. What they did explain is that this is only going to be available for PS uh, Plus members and that it's only going to be available in some games. Now, this isn't the feature like Xbox used to have where you could open up a second screen, do a search, and it will then bring up the either a YouTube video or a walkthrough or something like that. This is something that's supposedly baked into the game. And obviously, not every game is going to have it. So that's cool. But again, if there are games that don't support it or the majority of games don't support it, then what's the point? So obviously this shows that you're going to have picture-in-picture uh, -picture capabilities when playing the game. The other feature that they show is that you're going to be able to enter party chat with your friends. Uh, they did explain you're going to be able to talk through directly into the controller because the controller is going to have a microphone. How great that microphone will be, who knows? And that you will be able to mute uh, the person talking to you or you talking to the person. But the other thing that they showed is that the other person could watch what you're playing. And then you can make that into a picture-in-picture -picture window and put it on the side. While you play a game, you could be playing, you could be watching somebody else play a different game. How many people will actually watch their friends play a game while they're playing a game? I can see that working out in like if somebody needs help on something and you both have the same game and you maybe already passed that level where you're like, hey, this is where I am. I'm stuck. Can you help me? And then you can share that, you know, window at in the moment so they can help you out. That's really cool. That's a really cool thing to do. But to sit there and watch your friend play while you're playing another game, that, I don't know, that seems distracting to me. And they also went ahead and show how quickly you can start a new game, how quickly uh, the PlayStation is going to be able to pull up a game. Kind of what it seems like uh, what Microsoft is doing that with Quick Resume, PlayStation's version of it. And they say they obviously show how quickly you can go into the game and directly into a multiplayer game. Then they talk about the share feature, how you can take uh, screenshots and videos using the feed, the share button on the uh, PlayStation controller. They also say, obviously explain that you're going to be able to take uh, 4K resolution screenshots, which it's cool, but isn't that something you've already been able to do? 
They also show the home screen, which is what you're going to see when you start at the console and you haven't played any games or you're not playing any games. So when you start the console from cold, this is what it is going to look like. They explain also that each game is going to have its own hub, but you're going to be able to find water coin activities, which is what they show with the Sackboy. So within that game, if the game supports activities and you'll be able to jump into certain parts of the game to complete the activities, obviously your screenshots, anything like that will also be there. Um, and they also explain that every app, some something like Netflix will have a hub like that. They didn't go into it because they're focusing on games right now. They showed off a feature called Explore, which they said technically is going to be a place where you can find stories that are shared by Sony PlayStation's team by different games, by videos and pictures that are being shared by the community. They said, though, that it's not going to be available at launch. They said that this is something that's going to be available at launch that's going to be coming later on um, in the life cycle of the console, but that they're going to be doing testing, so I'm assuming beta testing, with a small group of people. They ain't going to any more detail than that. But to see a feature that... It isn't going to be available at launch when you're showing what your launch UI looks like. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Like, Why will you show me something that I cannot use or have? Why didn't you just, you know, why didn't you just skip that part and then talk about it later at another point? Maybe, you know, when it's closer to being available. So the store is finally going to be available and part of the UI instead of being a separate app, as it should have always been. Good on you, PlayStation. And then at the end, they showed how you will share an image or video. Well, in this case, an image to a friend. They did say that if there was any spoilers within that screenshot, that whoever receives that screenshot will be warned that this picture contains spoilers which is a good idea because you know you don't want your friends to send you something that you haven't seen like a boss battle or something like that and you're like man you just ruined that for me so it's cool that they will have that available showing people that hey you know open at your own risk kind of thing be careful it looks really cool i I'm, i wouldn't say that there's earth shattering stuff you can you can you can take a screenshot on the video okay i mean as I said, I come from Xbox, so you have been able to do that on Xbox for a while now. And when you take pictures, the pictures are in 4K. So that to me didn't seem like, whoa, my God, you just blew my mind kind of thing. How quickly you can resume games, that seems to be on par with what Xbox is doing as well. So that was really cool to see that you're going to be able to do the same thing on both consoles. What I really, really liked was the fact that you can open up your technically what a what I would call a mini home menu, in this case a control center, over your game. So it won't take you out of the game. You can open the menu, do what you need to do, and get back to playing. That to me seems like a great idea. Something that I hope Xbox will probably hopefully do at some point. Maybe they won't, but it will be a great idea to do that. I mean, I know the Xbox right now, you can open the, the home window on the side and do what you need to do, but then it takes you completely out. PlayStation has decided to, hey, if you're playing a game and you want to do something on the game, we're not going to take you out of the game. We're just going to do it, have you do it right here on top of your game the whole time so you can get back quickly to what you were doing. The one thing I thought was dumb was to show that Explore feature that is not available, that that, that you know, like, why? Okay, thank you. you. I'm gonna have a community place where I can look at videos and pictures and stuff, but it's not available yet. So why are you showing it to me? That was, that's that's my negative on, on this whole thing. Hopefully we'll be able to see more things about the PlayStation 5 and the UI and see a little more of how this works. Are you satisfied with what they showed us? Does that meet your expectations or exceeds your expectations were you expecting anything i don't know let me know in the comment section that's it for me go ahead and subscribe give us a thumbs up that really helps the channel hit that bell so you can be alerted every time there's new videos and thank you very much for watching